Okay, guys, so I thought I would just, uh, don't want to give away who this is from or anything, but this is, uh, this is an end user send this in for data recovery. Um, I was told it's an iPhone 6, so let's just see. Yep, iPhone 6, okay, and I was told it's not liquid damaged. Um, so let's just get it open. Let's just get this open and see what's going on. Okay, and uh, I know this person is eager to get their information back. So, okay, let's just get the... Okay, so far, no signs of liquid damage, okay? And no signs of being tampered with. So these are these are all good signs for me right now. Um, this could be a very quick, easy, you know, when you have the knowledge um, and the experience, you can make things look easy, <clears throat> especially when they've not been tampered with by another tech. So. Let's just see what we've got going on here, okay? Looks like, can't tell if that's a replacement screen or not, but let's, see. Uh, let's switch you guys into the microscope now. Okay, and let's check the brightness and boom, exactly what I thought, okay? Um, exactly what I thought. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to break this cap out here. guys want we'll check the cap might be wrong actually but let's just see oh there's a cap okay Ah, no, wasn't it? Okay, hang on a second here. Hang on a second here. Okay, so, I guess maybe we're wrong. Okay, let's just see now if we can power it on. Maybe we're right, but the... I got no more short on VCC main. Let's see if we can get this phone to boot right now. Okay, I've got no backlight, looks like. No image. Okay, let me get out a different screen here. <clears throat> okay. Um, this screen will work. This screen will work. This screen will probably work. Okay. Of course, you know, we need a few. Okay. Uh, actually, let's get, uh, let's get one that yeah, I've already torn the backlight out of, or at least partially, okay, and boom, 
There we go. Oh, you guys can't see. Okay, so there it is. Okay, we're gonna let this foam boot. Completing an update. Oh boy. Why is it doing that? Let's hope this isn't a restore because if this is a restore, there's going to be no information left on this device. You know? Uh, I mean, this is not plugged into the computer. This is something that's happened before this device came to me. Fuck. Well, let's let this do its thing, okay? We'll see what's going on here in just a few minutes, all right? So, hang tight. This is uh, stuff that's out of our control at this point in time. Okay, so you can see that progress bar completed. Don't mind the screen. This is just one of my test screens. Oh God. Fuck man, this device has been fucking restored. It says press home button. Yeah, this device has been fucking restored, man. No SIM card in it now. Oh, man. This is not good news. I got a problem with this screen, so let me just try another screen. Fuck, man, this is starting to upset me here. Because, let's try the client screen. You know, this is like, this is like Apple's probably suggestion, right? Well, yeah, okay, so that, you know, Apple's suggestion is probably, right, restore the device, right? Because, you know. Phone not working, right? Mm, man. This is, uh, well, we're just going to really, really hope right now that gonna ask us for activation of the device so man come on this is a sad sad way to start a data recovery job So if this is, you know, if you've been told by, you know, an Apple support forum or by, by somebody, you know, if your phone isn't working, just plug it into iTunes and restore it. And But you want your information. Well, that's not a good idea. You know, that's not a good idea at all. trouble with touch here. We're going right through activation right now. This this device was was completely restored. There's no way to get data off of an iPhone that's been restored. That's Oh man. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. 
I don't know if it's touches off on the device or or if it's the screen. I think it's Damn. Yeah, set up his new phone is here. I mean So I don't know why this device was restored or at whose recommendation. <clears throat> at this point, I mean, this device looks like there was nothing wrong with it other than That's because of the DC power supply. Uh, yeah, nothing's wrong with this device other than it looked like it needed a screen. I was even wrong about the cap that I pulled, actually. I thought it had the VCC main short. I thought that this was going to be VCC main short. I thought I saw a solder ball there, but in the end, actually, I didn't. So... This is, this is, do not restore your phone. Do not plug your phone into iTunes if you're an end user and not a, you know, not a trained technician and you need the information from your phone, regardless of whatever they say. This customer had a broken screen. That's it. That's it. And now, you know, now they're spending money to ship this phone off and they have a, hopes of getting their information, but that's, 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 that's not happening, you know? Um, you know, I don't know why we're actually, oh, back it. It's the screen, the screen's bad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is just, this is not good, man, you know. Um, let's try this screen, maybe. So this is just an example of, uh, you know. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to tell this client now. But guess what? Whoever advised her Okay, um, so we don't have a, I'm going to plug in the lightning home button now that the screen's back on.
no contact. Just turn on assistive touch so we can cruise through the rest of the phone. Oh, this is really frustrating when something like this shows up on my desk because, you know, you expect to get somebody their information and no messages, no photos. All right, well, to tell this customer now. So that's that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.